I'm Marius, I've been with Cubewise for more than six years. I've been working with TM1 for like eight years, since 2014. It, um, I've, I've got introduced to TM1 early on in my career, and I think it's, uh, it's been a privilege. And I was able to work with this technology for so long, and um, I hope I can, can do that for a lot longer. I, I enjoy my day-to-day -day work building assets for our customers with TM1 for, for many reasons, but particularly I think the flexibility, that the way it scales, um, the, the way the multidimensionality addresses problems and makes, um, makes it intuitive for business users to work with their data in cubes all the hierarchies and business rules, I think it's, um, it's really um, like a joy for, for, for us consultants to do that and build that. I mean, I mean first of all, there was, there was a need, right? And if, if we hadn't done it, someone else would have, I think. I think there was a real need for something like tm one Pi. But for me personally, um, like I, you know, I finished my, um, my studies in Spain. I uh, spent a year there working on, my, um, on the final project of my career. And uh, there was this teacher, uh, Gaspar. He was helping me with my project. And uh, I, was, I was planning to use uh, C Sharp, which I learned in the previous semester. And he was telling me, just, just use Python, man. It's way simpler and it's better. And I was like, no. I'm, for me, it was already quite challenging in this like different environment, struggling with the language and all that. I didn't want to use a new technology. Didn't want to take any risks to extend my stay or extend my my my, um, my studies. So, but in the end, I got stuck with C Sharp. I used Python here and there, and um, over a couple of weeks, I ended up using it everywhere. <laughs> and. Uh, I also it was really, really quite enjoyable at the same time, and um, yeah, uh, that was that was like for me like a, a personal um, experience, and um, it hasn't um, the, the, like the, the, the Python bug hasn't left me since uh, since that, and then when I when I got to do my professional career, it was still with me, and um, and I think that's why um, why I started the TM1 Pi project because I still. I, I still have this 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 this, um, this experience um, in me that, um, that <laughs> oh, this 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 language of um, Python can can be very very like in, intuitive, and elegant and efficient, and and extendable, and uh, just I thought it would make sense to bring that to TM1. I think it can well be that vehicle for for people who don't know TM1 yet, for people who are coming from a different angle, a different different perspectives. Maybe someone with a with a more IT background, not not the typical Excel background. For for that person, I think it can be um, a new way to perceive TM1 and to interact with TM1 and um, the building models with TM1 Pi and Python in TM1, I think, yeah, I definitely think that can create light bulb moments and, and help people appreciate this, this concept of multidimensionality and cubes, hierarchies, and all that. And like you said, I think the future is an intersection of all this. I think TM1 is, will do what it always did so well. Um, like handling the sparsity, of vast data volumes, cubes of 40 or 100 gigabytes, um, calculating on the fly. I think that this is what TM1 does really well. And I, I, I see no reason why that would change. It would only, we, from what we know from IBM, the engine only gets better. So I think, I think that future is pretty safe. But perhaps on the, on the, um, on the edges, we, we will see some developments. 
I think, I think our implementations that we do as Cubewise and that we see in the market around TM1 are becoming a bit more full stack. So I think some customers are, are looking more into, into different front ends, more UI developments. And on the back end, I think we'll also see more, more developments. And I, I, I kind of think that in five to 10 years, we're going to see more of this like full stack where we have TM1 in the center. And then maybe, maybe at the front end, and maybe, maybe more UI frameworks than we used to have in the past. And then in the back end, I think we'll see more Python. For everything that goes beyond what, what TM1 does out of the box, I, I kind of think that a lot of people will default to Python. Just Python itself is a, is a pretty good choice because TM1 Pi is already out there. And so that, I think that goes into like, the whole realm of AI and data science. I think there's a real market for that and need as well. And also in terms of data integration and just general business logic. Python is quite good at managing that. So to answer your question, I think, I think all this comes together and we'll see these, these kind of like full stack TM1 implementations. In the universe of TM1, the light bulb moment is described as the phenomenon of clarity that a business developer or manager has once encountering the advantages of TM1. We asked Cubewisers to share their light bulb moments. This is what they had to say. Mm -hmm.